Let's create this custom halftone pattern using Affinity Photo. First, create a duplicate of the subject and hide the original. I will resize and reposition this image. Then, rasterize and trim the image to make it a pixel layer. Using the selection brush and masking, I will isolate my subject. Then, create an empty pixel layer and place it below our masked subject layer. Fill this pixel layer with black color. Our subject and background are ready. Next, I will apply a brightness and contrast adjustment to my subject layer. Then I will draw horizontal parallel lines which will cover my entire canvas. Select all these lines and group them together. We will use this group to create our custom halftone pattern. Before proceeding further, let's explore the default halftone filters that come with Affinity Photo. Using the default halftone filter, you can control some basic properties of the filter like size, contrast, and angle. It offers four types of halftone patterns, dotted monochrome, dotted colorful, line, and circular patterns. You can use them to get some pretty cool halftone effects. Now let's move on to our custom method. Next, we will apply a threshold adjustment, which is essential for creating this custom halftone effect. Adjust the threshold value to control the black and white levels for the halftone pattern. Next, we will add Gaussian Blur under the threshold adjustment to gain more control over the intensity of our pattern. Play with the blur radius until you get a satisfactory result. Let's duplicate this line group and hide the original. Add a twirl filter to this duplicate line group. In the Live Twirl tab, increase the radius to full and experiment with the angle to make these lines twirl. You can drag with the mouse on the canvas to control the position of the twirl. Finally, make any adjustments to the Gaussian Blur filter and the threshold adjustment if needed. Let's add some color to this effect. Add a rectangle above all the layers and change the blend mode to screen. Now, change the rectangle color according to your preference. You can also add a gradient fill for better effects. To enhance this further, let's add a default halftone filter under this rectangle layer. I will move this out of the rectangle and decrease the opacity to 75%. What if you want more control over the pattern of the halftone effect? Just go to Layer and click on New Pattern Layer. In the Pattern Layer, Draw your own pattern using the brush tool, and you can create your own pattern for the halftone effect. And that wraps up today's tutorial on creating custom halftone patterns in Affinity Photo. I hope you found this guide helpful and picked up some new tips and tricks to use in your designs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow designers. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on future tutorials and creative ideas. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.